Well, if you don't want to run through a brick wall right now, I don't think you have any emotions. Welcome to a CoinMerge.io headliner AMA with our banger, Squid Grow. How we doing, everybody? Great. How about you, man? Good, man. Good, good. Y'all doing really well. Yo, I was listening to that song prior to the AMA, um, and I got like... I, I, yeah, that was intense. Uh, I don't know if I'm going <laughs> to age myself right now, but does anyone remember the game Sled Storm on PlayStation 1? Yeah, I think I just aged myself. Anyways, I was touring some, some pal with, uh, with that song I constantly, man. It was a great game. Good tunes, good throwback. Awesome, awesome. So uh, let's let this room fill up just a bit. We got JDB with us today. Welcome to the panel. We got Dane Crypto Blast over there, who I know was representing Squid Grow. Um, make sure you uh, request the mic if you're going to be speaking. Uh, we're waiting on Netcoin as well. I got Phil requesting the mic. Uh, they look like they're with JB. JDB, going to bring them up. All right. And if you haven't already, make sure you go and drop this space link in your Telegram channels, your community channels, discords, wherever you guys are hanging out. Let's really build up this space. We have about, I'm going to bring up Pop Stonks. Phil, I think I brought, Phil, I gave you the mic. All right. I think we're approaching 100 people in the space right now. 108 people. I know we can cap 200 in the room live. I know we can do it. It's going to take some effort from the listeners here today. If you are invested in one of these projects, make sure you look up in the Jumbotron up there. Give that a retweet. Tag some friends. You have an opportunity to win a custom NFT based on that original promo we put out. And I'll also be putting up another tweet that you can engage with to win a custom NFT. But the moral of the story remains the same. You have to be in the space at the end of the AMAs in order to earn. Uh, while we get the rest of our speakers in here, I think we're waiting on Netcoin. Papa, you are you in communication with them? That's affirmative. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right, everybody. Um, so the algorithm of the room is based off a few different things. It's based off one, the retweets and two, some emojis. So let's practice the 100s. Let's give the claps. Let's give some laughing faces, hearts, whatever it may be. Let's get the vibes pumping in this room. Make sure you bring in some friends. JDB, I'm bringing you back up. Not sure what happened. Um, and uh, turn on some more tunes while we let this room fill up. in the room we got some more speakers on the panel how are we doing chip toshi welcome to the room man hey how's it going guys thank you for having us greatly appreciated happy to be here absolutely happy to have you back man i think it goes back to maybe september maybe august when we first had squid girl on for a, a massive ama uh so happy to have you back i know you guys have some bullish updates i've been following along the whole way when i can where i can i'm sure you know as a crypto project owner it's very tough to kind of peek your eyes away from what you got going on but uh so i love the opportunity to dig deep into the project hey papa stonks welcome to the room and uh we got omar up here as well um omar are you with the project hey what's up man too much papa uh we got one one more i got machinator are you going to be representing netcoin yo 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 yes i am the speaker for netcoin today we got r dub requesting the mic First guy I connected with in Squid Grow, in Squid Grow. Welcome, our dub. How you doing, man? All right, all right. So for all the listeners in the room, we have 135 people in this room. We're just getting this kicked off. Up in the Jumbotron, you have an opportunity to win a custom NFT. It'll have your own personal PFP on it and your name customized by Coin Merge. All you have to do is look at that tweet, give it a retweet, tag two people, Follow Squid Grow, who was our headliner today. Myself, 
Coin Merge and Papa Woody, who helps up the stage and then be in the space at the end of the AMA for an opportunity to win. Up in the Jumbotron, give it a retweet, tag some friends, and make the follows. Uh, let's really build up this space. All right, all right. So this is uh, our first debut of our headliner AMA. We've been hosting some massive AMAs, uh, so we figured we kind of rearrange and put some headliners together for massive projects with massive followings like Shiptoshi and also network with a couple of other projects who are uh, good for some exposure. So we got Netcoin with us and JDB Finance or JDB Data over there as well. Super excited to dig into each of these projects. Uh, just to give everyone a heads up how the format's going to go, going to pass the mic to Papa Woody for a brief introduction. Going to pass the mic over there to Shib Toshi for a brief introduction. Just give us one to two minutes of yourself in the space. And then I'm going to pass the, the mic over to two of our other projects that are here today, the Netcoin and uh, JDB. A uh, little bit longer of an introduction. I'd like to get an introduction to yourself individually and then a brief summary of the project. Uh, make it exciting. Make it captivating. We want to retain the audience uh, throughout. Then we'll jump into the Squid Grow AMA and then break out into the other two AMAs. Uh, we like to slot about 30 minutes for each and uh, make sure that we retain the audience. So if you guys brought any giveaways during your intro, that's going to be time to pin it up to the space and make sure this audience sticks around. That being said, hey, Woody, how's it going, man? Good, good. Uh, I'm Woody. I'm a Leo. I like long walks on the beach. Um, no, actually, I'm kind of stalking Squid Grow because I have got a glimpse of what they're doing next year or this year, I guess. And uh, so you'll be seeing me with a lot of Squid Grow stuff on my feed this year. Also very bullish on Netcoin. And uh, when you find out the dev there, well, it'll be a surprise. And just thanks for having us on here. Look forward to a great AMA. Absolutely, Papa Woody. Always a pleasure. And I am A1. I am the CMO of CoinMerge. Up in the Joan Votron up there, you'll see we are CoinMerge Technologies building CoinMerge.io, which is the all-in-one crypto social media platform built for crypto users by crypto users where investors can go to chat, chart, trade, much more. And projects like the ones you see here today can actually list for free for some extra exposure. It comes with a complimentary tweet. We like to engage with the projects. Whoever is active on the platform is constantly getting some exposure. Um, and we know we have Squid Grow on there who interacted early. Uh, so it's a pleasure to have them back on this AMA today. That being said, I'm going to pass the mic over to our main event, the headliner, uh, Squid Grow in Shiptoshi. You mind giving yourself a brief introduction? Hey, everybody. Thanks for having us back, Coin Merge. I appreciate that. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm Shiptoshi. I am the owner of Squid Grow. Uh, we are currently on the BSC network, but we will be coming to the Ethereum network here very shortly. Uh, we launched back in June of uh, June 18 of this past year. Um, those of you that uh, have been along for the ride, you know that it's been a, a quite interesting one. We've had our ups and downs. But um, a little bit about myself, I, I got into cryptocurrency in 2011 uh, I'm a Bitcoin whale. I'm also the 8K Shiba Inu uh, wallet. At one point, collectively, I was the top holder. I have since uh, split my, my allocations up a little bit into uh, different wallets, but I still hold my total Shiba Inu bag. Um, I'm kind of diverse in my crypto portfolio. I hold a little bit of everything. Uh, right now, I'm really, really big on Bitcoin and Ethereum just in my accumulation stages. Uh, a little bit about the project. As I said, we launched in June. Um, currently, we are developing um, SGX, which is our perpetual swap. Um, that will be uh, pretty big for, I, I believe, our community as uh, <clears throat> percentages of, of all the uh, profits that are generated on the exchange will go into my charts. What I mean by that is um, just kind of an example, say... You know, if we generate, you know, a uh, million dollars a day, let's just be generous with it. Uh, roughly 25% of that will go into Squid Grow chart. We will probably most likely break that in, up into uh, half liquidity, half a buy on the chart. But it should be pretty interesting for everybody invested into our project uh, to see um, some consistent chart movement. Additionally to that, absolutely. we hey, have a uh, part. Toshi, I don't mean to cut you off. Yep. 
I don't want you to steal our AMA from you, man. I got some questions. This is all <laughs> bullish stuff. I, okay. I got it all written up. Okay, I okay. I want to pass the mic around for okay. a couple more intros, and then we are going to deep dive into Squid Grow and hear all of the bullish stuff. Okay, behind fair it. enough. All right, man. All right, man. Appreciate it. Hey, uh, we're going to pass the mic over to uh, what do we got? Mecca, Mechanator for Netcoin. Uh, give you an opportunity to give it an intro into yourself. And then a brief intro to the project. Take about three minutes. Uh, really try to make it captivating. And then um, again, we're going to get into a full AMA after we go through Squid Grow. Yeah, right. Yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity with uh, Coin Merge and obviously Papa Woody. Um, I am the Machinator. I've been in the space for a few years now. Um, I have been working as an admin in uh, a few big projects uh, lately. Um, also, I am an AMA host in um, Telegram. I haven't hit the Twitter space as much yet, but we are moving there slowly. Um, and I am here today representing Netcoin as it is an absolute bullish team uh, with a bullish dev and absolutely bullish community as well. So uh, during the AMA, I'll give you a lot more information about what's happening. Um, there is a lot happening in the background. But um, yeah, so pretty much here to represent uh, something that's going to be very unique and it's going to surprise a lot of people as well. Awesome. Super excited to get into it. Really fresh coin as well. Just launched on the second, I believe. Um, and it's been the chart is actually very, very bullish. So I'm looking forward to what you guys are bringing to the table over there. Going to pass it over to JDB. How you doing? Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. My name is Phil. I'm representing JDB today with Coco together. We have an amazing team. Uh, our core team is based mostly in Europe. Our founder is from Switzerland. Our two developers are from Switzerland. I'm myself. I'm from Austria. And Coco is from Costa Rica, but you will hear him speak later. We have launched our project like four months ago with 5 BNB and liquidity, pretty small stealth launch of a meme. And we developed to this amazing data company that we are now, and we're getting the information out there to the people, keeping them safe, showing them how to work profitable in the space. And that's basically what we do. And we will tell you a lot about this later on. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for everybody joining in. And thank you for your time. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool dApp that you guys have uh, built over there. It seems like it's going to be very advantageous for the, the everyday trader to really get a leg up. Um, up up in the Jumbotron as well, I did post your tweet. You guys are bringing a, a giveaway to the AMA today. You're giving away 10 one-day free passes to use your dApp, which I understand is worth about 0 0.05 BNB each or a little bit more than that at this time. Um, so everybody in the room, make sure you stick around or hear more about JDB at the end of the the session so all right um absolutely awesome awesome all right so one more plug on our nft giveaway i did repin it up there to the jumbotron so we have about 161 heads in the room and only 32 retweets on this so we have 32 contestants right now for your custom nft up in the jumbotron make sure you click on that tweet retweet it tag some friends um and then follow our host including uh squid grow over there our headliner and you have an opportunity to win, I will pick that live at the end of the AMA. All right, Shiptoshi, my man, now is the time. Let's get into our headliner over here. We got Squid Grow with us. If you haven't heard of Squid Grow, you have not been paying attention to DeFi for the past six months, to say the least. Shiptoshi, can you give us, I want, I want the ultimate vision that you had behind Squid Grow, because we have some day one listeners here. You know, and obviously I have an understanding. We, we've already done an AMA, so I, I have an understanding. But I want you to give a quick recap, a brief recap of, you know, where Squid Grow uh, Vision came from and uh, kind of run us up to today. All right. I'll do my best to uh, keep it brief, guys. You know, I just got a lot of energy. Um, so essentially Squid Grow came about um, it, to, to give my friends and family uh, a safe and secure place to invest their money. And... That is kind of how the origins of this project started. I was tired of seeing all my friends lose money in rug pulls, uh, just uh, getting involved in projects with undependable devs and, you know, essentially just, you know, losing all their money overnight. So at the persistence of some of my very close friends, I played around with the idea of dropping my own project. I put it on the back burner for some time after the contracts were all created and, um, you know, some time went by, and with the market being what it is, and then a couple of my more additional friends, you know, taking some big losses in projects, I decided that I was going to drop 
the project and, and try to make a difference in the space, at the very least giving everybody a safe and secure place to park their money while trying to make gains. And obviously that has grown to friends, family, and community. Um, but that was kind of the origins of where Squid Grow came. The name came from at the time of creation uh, back in November of 21. Um, obviously Squid Games was a big thing um the tv series and at the time evergrow token was a, a a project that i was heavily invested in so i took in my opinion uh two very positive things that were going on in the world and in crypto and combined them together squid being the and the uh, netflix tv series and evergrow so i put the names together had the contract created um we did decide to put that on the back burner for a while because there was another scam project that ended up coming out, Squid Games, the scam token. And uh, I didn't want to jump on that bandwagon and be, uh, you know, second to the races, I'll say. Um, obviously, we changed our, our views and our stance on that sometime down the road and decided to come out several months later with it. But that's uh, that's kind of the origin of uh, Squid Grow. You know, my team, uh, we got my CMO, Dane Crypto Blast from Blockchain Brothers and my CFO, nope. R-Dub, as well. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I've had the pleasure of meeting R-Dub and speaking with him and interacting with him. Uh, brilliant mind over there. And then obviously, Dan, you're doing a tremendous job marketing this token or helping with the marketing. Um, you were a part of that massive blast that you guys had back. I mean, you guys had a couple massive blasts. I think it was the original was um, maybe around August. And then you guys absolutely blew up in September, if I remember the chart prop ac accordingly. I think you hit a 50 million market cap. Yeah, yeah that's that's that correct. Yeah, it was uh, we came out of the gate screaming for sure. We we listed in about ten exchanges in a, in the course of about two months. Um, you know, it, it was all all hands on deck. Um, our liquidity ratio got pretty small as we hit up to fifty million though. So naturally, it sort of corrected with the brutal market and the dump with the FTX crap. So uh, we've weathered that storm and we've established some very strong liquidity now, and we're rising our floor up in a much more healthy way. So definitely exciting as we get ready to gear up onto ETH soon. Um, what we'll be able to do from a marketing standpoint, but also with a much, I think, healthier community and well-oiled machine to go with that. Yeah, I'd have to say, you know, um, really blowing up that fast is very tough because there's going to be a lot of fat wallets that are involved in those projects regardless. I mean, that, that type of fast money, uh, people are going to take profits. But I think you guys retained extremely well. Um, I think like on average around a $12 million market cap, obviously the, the FTX issue kind of put a bang on, on everybody because ETH and BNB went down so fast. Um, but then you guys, you guys bounced back up this week. I think you guys are up again at a 14 or, you know, $12 million market cap. So you guys have some catalysts going on. It seems let's, uh, jump into, you introduced your team a little bit. Let's jump into squid girl, kind of the vision in, in a general, in general, because as I understand it, you bring three elements to, to um, DeFi, right? You have the meme meme ability of your project, which if you look at the, I put up in the Jumbotron, there's a tweet from Shiptoshi. You can actually go follow the Squid Girl account there. But your logo is just attractive. It has like the, the DeFi degen play to it, but it's also, it's extremely likable in my opinion. It's bright. And again, it's attractive. So you got the, the marketing aspect of that. And then you guys are also bringing some utility to the table. Can you dive into the utility portion of Squid Girl for us? Yeah, most definitely. And yes, uh, obviously, you know, coming out the gate, you know, we launched as a meme token, but it was always in our plans to be a meme token with very strong utility. And that's kind of where we're at right now. We're taking this uh, this market we're in to do all of our building. But essentially, uh, from the utility standpoint, where we are is, uh, you know, out the gate, we offered uh, staking contracts in uh, local coin and also liquidity staking. Um, in addition from that, we have our swaps, our, our very own swap out as well. We are currently developing our Ethereum swap. So when we roll out the Ethereum chain, uh, BSC and Ethereum will both have their own swaps with integrated staking contracts. Uh, in addition to that, we have partnered with Mike S. Miller from DC Comics, Marvel, and Game of Thrones to do our NFT collection, which is 10,000 pieces. Uh, within that collection, there is a hundred ultra rares and the ultra rare is essentially one of our NFTs holding a Polaroid picture of another well-known NFT, such as mutant apes, kennel clubs, 
doodles, metaverse land, so on and so forth. And if you mint one of those ultra rares, you gain ownership of both NFTs, our NFT and the one that it is holding. Uh, the utility for these NFTs from Mike S. Miller are still under develop, but I will say one of the utilities for this uh, collection will be geared towards our SGX exchange, which we are developing. It is, as I said, a perpetual swap. Uh, you will be able to stake your NFTs for lower trading fees on the exchange. So that's pretty beneficial. It does save quite a bit of money. Uh, we will do, obviously, you know, different VIP tiers, you know, based on trading volume, etc. And then you will have the NFT staking to get that fee lower as well. Uh, we have been developing our Ethereum bridge for some time. It was done, I believe, in September. We did kind of put it on the back burner as we started developing other things. I didn't think the market was right to come out on the Ethereum chain. Um, but with the market and everything that's going on now, I think it's an awesome time to drop the Ethereum. So I went ahead and deployed the contract. We integrated that into the bridge, um, finished up building the front end UI for the bridge, the interface, and uh, sent that off to audit. The bridge is done and completed. Um, kind of got ahead of myself for a second. In addition with the NFTs, we are also rolling out our, our own NFT marketplace. It will support both BSC and Ethereum. Um, other projects will be able to list their NFT collections on our exchange as well, or on our NFT marketplace, excuse me. Um, so where we're at currently uh, during the development stages, our devs, I acquired one server and the NFT marketplace and the SGX exchange and bridge were all being built, obviously on this one server. Uh, we learned or realized early on that we had to obviously transfer SGX off of that server. So we acquired another server, which is where SGX is currently being developed. Um, in addition to that, we are separating the NFT marketplace and the bridge servers. So everything's being transferred from one server to another. We are locking down the bridge server, um, ensuring that I am the only one with access to it because obviously when the developers are building, they have to have access to the servers, so on and so forth. So the bridge is done and completed. So we are in the stages of locking down that server now for the bridge. Essentially, all we are waiting on right now is our new swaps to be completed and it uh, should be any day now we will be rolling out a new bsc swap and ethereum swap with our integrated staking contracts and uh, we will be uh, essentially uh, hitting the ground running with our initial offering for our ethereum uh, we plan on doing it in a couple stages um, we had a meeting with our whales several months back and we decided that we would do an initial liquidity offering to the community to get into ethereum so after that phase is done, we may or may not go to a launch pad to try to, to, try to raise, raise initial liquidity or even more initial liquidity. And the final stage is we are offering to everybody in our community the ability to trade in BSC token for Ethereum token for a percentage increase. So we are giving bonuses for anybody that decides to trade in their, their BSC tokens for the Ethereum. After all that is done, we, I will seed the liquidity on Ethereum and we will go live. Uh, the bridge will not be live immediately because I am, I am anticipating Ethereum to pump. So we will allow that to, to run its course. And when the market cap of Ethereum starts to come down a little more closer to the BSC side, the bridge will go live and you will be able to bridge back and forth between both chains. So you guys have been building. <laughs> to say the least, oh, Jesus, yeah. man, you guys have been crushing it for the past four months uh, throughout the bear market. And I think you're right, you know, pausing your ETH bridge and, and some of the release of these type of utilities for the one the market's right. Um, you know, I, I, we have a feeling this is the right time as well. Obviously, it's not financial advice, but we've been experiencing the bear market for about, you know, 18 months, maybe a little bit less than 18 months at this point. And the average bear market typically runs about, you know, a year to two years in, in general, um, just historically speaking. So I think you're right on, on your approach to this. Now, I want to touch on a couple of things because I had questions. NFTs, um, okay. is your PFP an example of the NFTs? 
That is correct. My PFP is an example of, although this will not be one that is up for purchase, this is an example of that style. It's uh, a, uh, an NFT that Mike Miller designed for me holding uh, a Polaroid of another NFT that he designed for me. And so this is an example of one of our ultra rares. Um, the exclusivity of the NFTs will be with the attributes. Obviously, our ultra rares have all of the attributes that we are um, offering. You know, they've got my Copenhagen can. They've got my Bitcoin Millionaire Club ring. Uh, they've got a dip in the lip, uh, you know, laser eyes, so on and so forth. So this is a, my PFP is an example of what our ultra rares will look like. We have put out uh, several teasers on Mike Miller's NFTs and also on our first uh, NFT collection, which we will offer before the Mike Miller NFTs, essentially debuting our NFT marketplace. These NFTs, the first cl uh, collection of a thousand, there will be no utility on those. They will be priced at $25. Um, and uh, it's just kind of debuting our NFT marketplace. And then we will roll into the Mike S. Miller collection. There will be 5,000 of Mike Miller's NFTs on the BSC chain and 5,000 on the Ethereum chain. So you can kind of mint them on whatever chain you favor. Yeah, I love that concept um, of the ability to win an actual, you know, if you get a super rare, ultra rare NFT, you also get that rare NFT that's inside the picture. I love the concept. It's the first time I heard it. I think you guys have a mover's advantage, obviously, when it comes to NFTs and minting your own collection because of your community um, and how loud it is behind behind you, which is always a bullish factor when it comes to NFTs. There's nothing less bullish than putting out a collection and not minting it out. So um, I think yeah. you guys have a mover's advantage in doing that. Uh, I want to move on to more specifics on your exchange because you guys are building the exchange, correct? That is you guys correct. Have we are building building it from scratch. Building it from scratch. Now, how are you are you going to open it up to any token to potentially list? Are there going to be audits behind those particular tokens? How are you going to start to build the relationships for projects? Okay, so so essentially rolling out. Um, obviously, when SGX uh, debuts, it will just be a perpetual exchange, meaning that you can essentially uh, trade features there, similar to GMX.io. It will be essentially shorting and longing different cryptocurrencies. It will not be um, a centralized exchange where you can, you know, buy trades other uh, cryptocurrencies because um, at the time of launch, we will be lacking our licensing to run a full-blown exchange. So until, until we actually acquire those licenses, obviously we are going to just stick to our perpetual licensing that we currently have. Um, but the plan is, you know, eventually we will be a full blown exchange where you'd be able to, to buy trade any cryptocurrencies that we deem fit to be on there. And the vetting process of that is obviously, you know, coming out the gate, we're going to stick to the blue chips, the, the well-known projects. Uh, eventually, you know, as we, um, perfect our vetting of other projects we will allow you know lesser known cryptos to to list with us obviously providing liquidity and so on and so forth uh will be contracts so on and and so on but we will cross that bridge when we get there but coming out the gate it will just be a perpetual futures exchange uh for shorting and longing essentially bitcoin ethereum uh link crow you know anything that you can you can think of we are going to be offering and the benefit to this style is uh you know unlike centralized exchanges where you have to actually store you know your tokens and so on and so forth on the exchange you know and they you stand a chance to, to lose that as we experienced with one of our exchanges we were listing on it actually went belly up and uh, we lost all of our liquidity on that exchange you will own your keys with this so this is essentially a decentralized exchange and you will just connect your wallet to it and be able to, you know, move whatever you decide to trade back and forth freely. Um, you know, obviously if you're trading, it will be in your trading account. And then upon the disconnection of your wallet, there will be a transfer back to your wallet and everything will be safe on your uh, decentralized wallet 
where you hold the keys to. So that that's something that's pretty cool about this style of exchanges. Uh, Dane, if you'd like to touch more on the benefits and so on and so forth, you're welcome to do so. Uh, yeah, I would just say that for those that are unfamiliar with this type of exchange, if you've ever gone on to KuCoin, Binance, Coinbase, actually not Coinbase, Ku, uh, KuCoin or Binance and a couple others like Etsy and Bybit, uh, you'll see the futures, the perpetuals. That's what this is. Um, you can short and long Bitcoin and other major macros we put on there initially. Um, it's a really cool way to actually make money in the bear market. A lot of people live and die by that sword. You, you probably heard of Forex traders and day traders. Um, it's what they do. So there's a huge demand for these types of exchanges. In fact, there was one this year by the name of GMX, which was actually one of two top 100 altcoins for 2022 that actually had a green chart. Literally one of two for this past year. Um, and that was GMX. And I think their market cap when the year closed was somewhere around $450 million. And that is just a perpetual exchange. That's all it is. It's pretty bare bones. Honestly, it works well. But, um, you know, it's, I think we can one up it in a lot of ways. Um, and that's a $400 million token, you know, so... Um, you do the math on the squid girl being at 12 million. You can see just from that alone, not to mention the NFTs and the other things Satoshi mentioned, how undervalued I believe we really are. Um, so that that's exciting. And the cool part about that, as Shiptoshi said, is the, the trading fees and some of the profits basically from that exchange SGX will roll directly into squid grow token holders um, by buybacks on the chart. And, and I think that will be a, a very bullish catalyst to get this, this token moving as well. Yeah, so there was uh, one other utility that I wanted to touch on a little bit in, more in depth, I'd say, because I think it might be your biggest catalyst you have coming up. And if I'm not mistaken, may have been um, the reason for the past little surge that you guys have. I don't want to say little surge, big surge that you guys have had, uh, which is the ETH bridge. Now, the ETH bridge is essentially opening up an entire new market for Squid Grow because, you know, ETH traders and BNB traders are, I think they're begin becoming more integrated, but they're heavily divided. You know, there's, you know, the ETH and BNB, there's a lot of heavy, heavy volume on the ETH side, big, big wallets. And then the BNB is, you know, oftentimes sought as like the day traders because of the gas fees and things of that nature. So you're essentially opening yourself to an entire new market to bring squid grow. Yes, that's correct. I mean, as you said, BNB and Ethereum uh, holders are, are night and day different. You know, uh, everybody knows Ethereum is where like the OG whales are. There's big money over there. Not to say that there's not big money on the BSC, but the Ethereum projects tend to be a little more stable, a lot of a lot less arbitrage because of the gas fees are higher. You know, BNB is like five cents in gas fee versus Ethereum right now. It's, you know, 10, 20 bucks. Um, so it's definitely a whole nother market. And I'm really excited about it because Ethereum is my home turf. I've got a lot of really close friends that are Ethereum whales, uh, some of which I could not twist their arm to buy BSC because they just want nothing to do with the BSC network um, in regards to uh, buying my token. So I'm really excited about rolling out to Ethereum and all the support that we have over there. I think it's just it's the right move. And, you know, it was something that we we contemplated back and forth on, you know, when we launched Squid Grow, should we launch on Ethereum and then bridge to BSC or vice versa? Ultimately, obviously, we went to BSC first and uh, with the plans to come to Ethereum, you know, and the benefit to this is, you know, now we've been around six months or so. We have a great community, great following. We have a floor. We have utilities rolling out, you know, uh, coming to Ethereum, the Ethereum guys are going to be able to take a step back and actually have a, a, a better um, understanding of what it is they're actually buying into, you know, not just taking a chance on a project that just popped up and not really knowing anything about the dev team or kind of the direction we're going. So there's definitely some very strong benefits, you know, that we are rolling out Ethereum at this time, you know, so... I'm I'm very excited about it. Absolutely, yeah, and it's no small feat either. Feat either. So congratulations on that. And uh, you mentioned community, and I've probably mentioned it about a thousand times behind Squid Grill. But that being said, let's. Uh, can you give the listeners here today an idea of where they can find your community and interact with your team? <clears throat> For sure. Um, so obviously, our our um, our main community following is on our Telegram. Uh, we have a verified Telegram channel. Uh, so not to confuse any of these little scam groups that are popping up, just trying to take your money. We have a blue, blue tick verified. Um, 
we can uh, drop the link in comments, I'm sure, or post it somewhere for anybody that is interested in in uh, following the community and um, you know, kind of gather some information from there. In addition, my team is very accessible. You know, on Telegram, over Twitter. You know, what we ask is, you know, somebody wants to communicate with us directly, join our Telegram, drop a message in our in our Telegram group with our at that will notify us that we have a message and we will go find that message and we can communicate that way. Nobody from my team, from mods to admins to my immediate core team will send messages first. If you do get a message first, uh, it's most likely a scam. Um, so everybody just be cautious of that. There's a lot of scammers out there trying to impersonate my team and trying to, you know, get you to click links or give seed phrases and so on and so forth. So just use caution when it comes to that regard. But in addition to that, we have uh, our Twitter page. You can find us there. We also have our discord as well. Um, so we're, we're pretty accessible. Awesome. Sorry, my mute button was going rabbit a little bit. Um, up in the Jumbotron, I did pin a tweet from the Squid Grow main handle up there. So if you go click on that tweet, you can find their Twitter handle. Give them a follow. They also have squidgrow.wtf, which is their website. And you can find all the resources you need for Squid Grow, including their Telegram link as well. Um, so, so Shiptoshi, we got, you know, we got the rundown of Squid Grow. A lot of people in this room... You know, I've heard of Squid Grow. They understand the briefing behind it. I think we covered a lot. We unpack a lot of um, the utilities you're building. Is there anything that we miss that you feel is important for our listeners here today to hear? Well, one one highlight that I do want to point out is those of you that do not know, um, my token does have a tax. There is a buy and sell tax. Currently, the the buy tax is four percent. The sell tax is twelve percent. One hundred percent of that tax goes into our liquidity. Um, to, you know, strengthen the, the project as a whole. Uh, so if you're wondering where, you know, the, the funds come from for marketing and, and develop, I pay for it directly out of pocket. Uh, I bear that expense. So, I mean, that's, that's something that's a little different from most projects. You know, 100% of the tax goes to liquidity. That, that's a benefit to my community and holders. You know, obviously, the fatter the liquidity, uh, the more stable the the chart holds. You know, as we saw at the 50 million run up, when um, we just started moving, we got all the way down to I think about two percent uh, market cap to liquidity ratio, and obviously that allowed us to pump really quick. But it's really hard to hold uh, a floor with low liquidity percentages. So now I believe we're around five to six market cap to liquidity ratio we were around eight and a half obviously with the recent movement in the chart we grew a little faster than the liquidity could keep up with but we still have very healthy liquidity and when i when i'm going off of the percentage that i'm speaking of that's b and b uh not the overall liquidity um so about five to six percent liquidity market cap ratio is b and b if you double that with our squid grow token taking that into percent the percentage then doubles; it'd be ten to twelve percent total liquidity. So we're pretty we're pretty pretty solid when it comes to uh, market cap to liquidity ratio. That that is a a big benefit to this project. Dane, Arda, y'all have anything you'd like to add? Uh, I think Arda, but not seeing him here. Um, top of my head, you, you got the NFTs, you got the exchange, you got the ETH bridge coming, and the fact I, I would just say for the ETH bridge. The cool thing about us going onto that blockchain finally um, is that everything that we have on BSC is going to be fully accessible on ETH. So if you're staking, you'll be able to stake and swap over to ETH. Uh, if you want to use our swap, which we also have, you'll be able to do that on ETH as well. Everything's been audited multiple times on both chains. Um, so basically, we've done our homework before we move over to ETH because we know how meticulous we have to be. And I think that's really cool because everything that we have now off offering on the BSC side will be available to guys on the ETH side as they come in. So that's exciting. Um, off the top of my head, I think you've mostly covered it. There was one thing that got me excited. I will say um, Shiptoshi's video he has pinned on his page the other day. Um, I think it's pretty cool. People are starting to see 
kind of the Shibtoshi saga and story coming to fruition um, through some pretty cool videos that were just made. And I think more of those will be coming out. So I'm personally excited to see those because I know how well video content does in this space. And uh, clearly the other day, once uh, it released, we got a little price action. I think some of it can be attributed towards that. You know, we, we definitely have uh, an X factor in, in that being Shiptoshi's story. And, you know, just for that, that lore to spread, I think is an awesome thing for the project as well and worth mentioning. Yeah, I think I'm, I've um, just found it. I pinned it up into the Jumbotron up there. If you take a look, Dane, just to, I think it's a YouTube video. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, awesome. yeah. it's a YouTube video. Yeah. yeah, so if anybody wants to take a look at what Dane just referenced up in the Jumbotron there, you have Shiptoshi's video. It seems like you'll get a little bit of a history behind Shiptoshi and where he's at today. Um, one thing I did want to point out is I think the, the tax or the tokenomics you have on the token going directly back into the liquidity and not paying any team um, is, like you said, super rare in this space. And, um, you know, me, uh, this is not financial advice to anybody. Obviously, I'm my own individual, but I love well-funded companies. And Shiptoshi, you know, thanks to your um, great investments and <laughs> your ability, your diamond diamond hands, your ability to hold, it seems like uh, Squid Grow, your baby, your project is going to be well-funded. Um, it sounds like all the marketing, like you mentioned, came out of pocket. And there's been a tremendous amount of marketing since launch date. Um, already so congratulations on that and uh, i think your your community should be proud of uh, of what they're what they're really pushing over there yeah 100 percent. as you said squid grow is my baby and uh, i'm definitely going to see it through i fully back my project uh in every aspect that you can fathom and uh you know every decision that we make we do it with our community and our investors in mind so definitely you know, developing this project through the eyes of an investor, you know, anything that I don't personally like as an investor, you won't see in my project, there will be no locking periods, no vesting periods, so on and so forth. You know, those are things that I do not care for personally. So, you know, anything that I personally don't care for as an investor, you won't see in my project. One thing I did want to add, obviously, you know, we're coming to Ethereum. Obviously, this goes without saying liquidity will be locked on the Ethereum chain, same as BSC. We will start it out at a one-year locking period, as we did with BSC, and renew it as time goes. All right, all right. Shiptoshi, Squid Grow, I appreciate you guys coming to this AMA, our headliner. We debuted with Squid Grow. Um, absolutely massive turnout so far. We have about 182 people in this room. I do think we broke 200. Um, we have two great projects coming up next. But first, I did want to point everyone's attention to the Jumbotron up there because the listeners in this room, um, you can help this go deeper. Up in the Jumbotron, you'll see today's promo. Um, in order to win an NFT uh, up there, give it a retweet. Give it a like, tag two friends, and make sure you follow our projects. We have Squid Grow, we have Netcoin ERC, and we have JDB Data here today. Put a follow on them and stay toward till the end of the AMA, and you'll have an opportunity to win your custom NFT. Shitoshi, thanks, man. Dane, thank you. Hey, thank you for having us. It's been a pleasure. Always. I'm looking yeah, forward to, to popping on here more. Yeah, absolutely, man. Make sure you stick around for some closing remarks. Any Squid Grow listeners, stay in the room for your opportunity to win NFTs. And we're going to pass the mic off to Netcoin. We got our man Mechanator over there. How's it going? Yeah, doing well. I'm super excited. As you can see right now, the charts are doing very well um, as we close towards all-time high. And obviously, a lot of bullish things happening. Uh, just to mention that we're also trending, trending on Twitter as well. So, wow, it's uh, all heating up at the moment. Absolutely, man. And I'm excited to have you on the space today. You mentioned you are an AMA host yourself. So obviously, well-spoken. You understand the questions, the dialogue. Um, and you're going to be able to take some questions maybe I don't ask. So awesome to have that professionalism on the stage today. Let's talk about Netcoin. All right. Where did um, the vision for Netcoin come from? So... Really what happened with Netcoin is Bitcoin was supposed to be called Netcoin. And if you go back towards the data, you would see that um, Satoshi was actually going to be calling uh, Bitcoin Netcoin one day earlier. Um, however, he scrapped the plan and went with Bitcoin. Um, and obviously the dev that we've got, he's very, very in, um, intelligent in the aspect of doing his own research. So he's gone back and done his research um, and he's been inspired by Netcoin. And he thought, you know what, um, it's the time to come out because... He's been super bullish. Um, he's been in the space for a long time. He's been in projects that have gone to hundreds of millions of market caps. 
Um, so his connections and network is huge. So now he wants to deliver the big punchline for everybody. Um, and yeah, he's got a, he's got a big ecosystem building, but at the moment he's focusing on one uh, one utility that we should be seeing in the next couple of days, maybe a demographic of what's coming up. But yeah, he's definitely building something huge here. Awesome. Yeah. So I know your guys are a fresh launch. Um, obviously, sometimes these coins uh, come out with the team already organized and obviously build from there and continue to, to scale. Can you talk about the team um, behind Netcoin out the gate? So currently the team is mainly made from the community, but we do know that Dev is uh, super huge. Um, like I was saying earlier, he did have a project that went to a few hundred million uh, market cap. So uh, he's the main one driving it at the moment, um, and we've all been communicating with him. So he will come out uh, and tell, dis disclose himself very soon. Um, at the right moment, it's not the right time for him because he's still developing this, and he wants to make sure he delivers on all the utility and stuff. Absolutely. Completely understandable. Um, DeFi space, sometimes anonymity behind it is uh, super important and actually even intriguing as well, um, which can lead to some success. So Netcoin ERC, uh, the history is really uh, behind, it's, it's supposed to be, or this was Satoshi's original um, idea before Bitcoin. And if you go to the website, it looks like you have some proof. Can you talk about the proof? Yeah, so the proof was going back to when um, Satoshi was actually meant to be deploying the Bitcoin, uh, the Netcoin, sorry. Uh, but then we can see that one day before he did deploy uh, Bitcoin, Netcoin was on the net ready to go. Um, however, he did scrap it and go with the Netcoin, uh, the Bitcoin, sorry. So the Netcoin came up and it was obviously like a back end idea. Um, he never obviously went forward with it, but uh, our developers has been smart enough and strong enough to um, adopt the idea and come forward with it right now. And the first off the utility he's building is a, a DEX. Um, but this DEX is going to be super bullish because it's going to be an uh, aggregated DEX. DEX. Um, it's going to have your stop loss. And it's also going to give you the lowest prices at the faster time, fastest time. And also, because this guy was working in a big project, um, he has the marketing aspect as well. So uh, the trendings will be there. The ads will be there. So the ADEX will also be generating a lot of uh, revenue for the uh, project as well. So um, any sales that do come from the uh, sales of the, the trendings and the ads uh, will be put back in towards the project as well. So it's building a whole ecosystem at the moment. But like I said, the first off the block is going to be the DEX, and the DEX is looking uh, super bullish, and we'll wait for him to drop it in the main chat for everybody to see. Absolutely. I think that's super exciting. In order to, be, in order to move a token to 100 million market cap, um, it's extremely difficult. So to have a dev that had that experience prior and bring that to, ta to the table for a low-cap coin like this, um, it kind of speaks for itself. You know, Obviously, I'm never going to give financial advice or say anything's a guaranteed win, but if you can move a token once, um, you at least know – what it took to do that and you can bring that to the table for the team now you're also coming out with some utility um or at least announced utility which is the dex so you're going to be the some of the use case or the investors interest in the coin besides the fact that this was the original idea for bitcoin and almost a new wave or a new fresh start for the new wave of DeFi investors to get involved in what you would call bitcoin back in the day or netcoin now you have some utility that's pushing the chart a little bit. So let's talk about the tokenomics. I think that's a good segue. segue. Um, can you tell me the tokenomics behind that coin? Yeah, so currently it's 2% buy, 2% sell. Um, and the majority of it is going back into woods marketing. So um, it is helping out with the, uh, the aspect of getting callers. We've got Papa Woody on board. We've got Crypto uh, Eric on board. Um, we've got Imer on board. There's... A few big names that are floating around that are actually supporting the project as well. And obviously with that comes a bullish community, um, which is supporting it very, very strongly. So all times of the day, we're seeing a lot of things happening. Um, I go to sleep because I'm in Australia. I go to sleep, wake up, and the chart's still moving well. Uh, the volume's been uh, amazing. Um, yeah, so it's just been absolutely astonishing to see how, how far this has come in the last couple of days. And obviously with the experience that Dev has got, um, He's really heavily uh, connected to the marketing teams. Um, a lot of people come to him for advice in marketing. So, yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot more things happening in the marketing field as well. 
Yeah, I think the low tokenomics are important in today's DeFi world. You know, I, I'm not against high technomics or high tokenomics or taxes, I should say, as long as they're fueling the project in the appropriate way. But when you have a 2-2 tax, you're going to intrigue a lot more volume um, on your chart. So I, I do like, I'm a big fan of that because you're going to intrigue the day traders. Now, the, for Netcoin, another thing I really like about it is kind of the branding behind it and also your... Um, the the logo that you guys have going on it's somewhat simplistic uh very intriguing it's bright who designed that so dev designed it himself like i said he's being very creative um and when you get to speak to this guy you say well he's got a he's got a brain that uh einstein missed out on so uh he's very switched on and definitely knows how to catch an audience as well yeah so speaking of audience um can you touch on where the community is being built at this moment? Yep. So majority of the audience is being built on Telegram at the moment. Um, we have had a lot of Twitter engagement and a lot of Twitter raids. So the, the team uh, in the Twitter game, uh, sorry, the Telegram is being very active on Telegram uh, on Twitter. Um, if you go in there any moment, you'll be seeing Twitter links being dropped from everywhere. So it's been heavily uh, touched on Twitter, um, but also in Telegram, we've had if trending. Uh, calls from a lot of callers, uh, read calls from a lot of callers because they're super excited to see what's happening. Um, it was a stealth launch, so they're just, they're just seeing figures that are popping off at the moment. Currently, the chart is sitting at um, where are we? 261K uh, market cap. Uh, all-time high was about 360. Um, it won't be long now before we smash that and then obviously move on to the next leg. Yeah, you guys and you guys launched, I believe, on the second. Uh, so relatively fast movement on that chart. And I did look at it. You guys, um, very bullish chart, starting to flag out. Um, looks like some maybe some early investors dropped at that three hundred market cap, which is important, you know, for the next investors to come in. And uh, but you guys are definitely heading in the right way. And I right prior to going on this, I went and reviewed your Twitter handle. I did see Eric Kryptoman involved, which is nice because he uh, he seems to come to the table with some good gems and good calls, and he's got a good backing behind him. Obviously, Papa Woody was the first one to bring it to my attention, always finding some of these low-cap gems early and uh, bring them to the table here. So, you know, with low caps, obviously it's high risk, high reward, but a good opportunity to, um, to get in early, it seems like. And uh, there's been another coin, which I feel like you guys have a little bit better branding than as far as the image um, that exploded as well and is, is really rocketing through the space too. So, um, Yeah, I know which one you're talking about and we're going to be soon following suit to catch them. So <laughs> it, is, um, it is pretty intense at the moment in the East space, um, but there are a lot of competition. Uh, but at the end of the day, good luck to everybody. People want to be swinging. Day traders want to come in and out. Um, I mean, it is a low tax, so they are generating, generating a bit of uh, income for the project as well to maintain marketing and obviously um, the utilities that have to come out. Uh, not to mention that there is going to be a few surprises coming as well, so it's pretty unique. Absolutely. Now, you guys mentioned the DEX. Um, is there a percentage of the day trading? So how usually how a DEX works, right? You're going to link up probably to like a Uniswap or Pancake Swap, which typically has a point zero i think it's either 0.3 percent take or 0.03 i think it's 0.3 percent take right i don't know if anyone in this room knows this but uniswap and pancake swap always take a little little cut so if you have another dex that comes in place or a swap that comes in place utilizing their pools um typically you'll have to put like one point higher or something of that nature have you guys um came up with the idea of what your percentage is going to be yeah, so it will be slightly higher, uh, not so much higher, but it will be a little bit of an add-on to what they're obviously going to be charging. Um, obviously, because the transactions are going to try and be quick, um, we want to try and get in as fast as we can when it comes to plays. And also, another feature that will be on the decks is that it's going to have an anti, um, it's going to have an anti honeypot uh, measure. So if anything comes up with a honeypot, you can't buy it. Uh, it will absolutely restrict you from buying that stuff as well. So that is a. Uh... A great feature that you guys didn't or you didn't mention out the gate an anti honey pot feature on their decks which is super important because anybody that's really trying to get these low gems early may have scanned or scrolled the dex tools um new pairs launch and found themselves in honey pot i know i have personally trying to trying to get in super early so i do like that feature that automatically tells you it's a honey pot um that's a good add-on so can you get into any more plans or have any more plans or a roadmap been released for Netcoin yet? 
Yeah, so there is a roadmap at the moment that's going to be released to the community. Um, if it hasn't already been released, because I just woke up not long ago, obviously being in Australia, um, time zones are very different to you guys. It's probably 8 p.m. for you now. Um, so we're going to, the first off the map in quarter one will be obviously to get the decks um, obviously ready. Um, then introduction of a charting system with a top trending and promotional ads. Um, launch of a multi-wallet transaction feature. Um, and then rollout of a referral program for users uh, to earn Netcoin. Um, obviously by referring their friends to the platform as well. So it is going to be incentivize, incentivizing people to actually um, share it around and make sure that they earn money at the same time. Um, launch of a mobile app for the Netcoin Dex, and then introduce, introduce, and sorry, introduction of a margin uh, trading on the Netcoin Dex ag aggregator platform. Um, there will be a staking program as well, as well that allows users to be um, staking the Netcoin. Um, and then obviously the expansion of the uh, Dex to make it uh, a lot more attractive to everyone around the world. Um, obviously, it's not going to be the the most uh, sexy looking thing at the start but uh it will obviously gradually over time become uh, a lot more firmer um things do take time to grow we know that rome wasn't built in one day um so it's going to be uh, a nice nice progress to make it to the best uh, decks out in the space and that everybody will be using absolutely yeah no rome certainly wasn't built in a day um I think the nature of DeFi has always been expecting something right the next day or instantly. And, you know, that's just not the case of reality. You can mask it all you want, but utility takes time to build. So um, absolutely. As long as the team continues to crush and push out utility, uh, you know, and hits those roadmap goals, I think there's definitely a bright future here for NetCoin. Seems like you guys be uh, behind the dev have some great experience yourself who actually hosts AMAs and, and, and interviews other coins and tokenomics, identifying this as an opportunity um, seems to be bullish as well. Do you mind me asking where, what, um, I know this isn't necessarily about your, um, your lounge, but what lounge do you guys host in? Yeah. So just recently I've opened up, uh, elite crypto lounge. Um, so it is uh, a young baby at the moment that I am working on. Um, I do have a few partnerships, uh, that, are, that are currently in the works. Um, and along with uh, Netcoin as well, I forgot to mention that they're going to have some big partnerships, uh, with the connection that Dev has, um, everybody will be very excited to hear their partnership. So, yeah, Elite Crypto Lounge is where I'm at at the moment, um, and that's going to be my little baby for forever from here on. Awesome, awesome. So I know you guys are a new project, not not quite as much utility already out there or a website to dig into and, and get deeper, but I want to make sure that you have the opportunity to get everything out there for the listeners today in regards to Netcoin on you know, what's the investor's interest? What's the call to action? Um, you know, how are you going to welcome investors into Netcoin? Yeah, so like we said, currently it is a low, ca um, a low tax um, Netcoin. Uh, there is a lot of things that are going to be happening. So it's not something that we can automatically give you now. It's only three days to two days old, depending on where you are around the world. Um, but we do have a lot of things lined up, especially with the, uh, the community that's so bullish. Um, and a lot of lounges that are that they are supporting. Uh, a big shout out to Omar, obviously, for supporting from the start. Uh, Future Lounge as well has been another big lounge that's been supporting. So with these lounges in the Telegram, you know, constant reminders and constant sharing um, and giving updates here and there, um, they'll always be uh, giving a lot of exposure to people and welcoming them with open arms um, in order to make sure that everybody's, uh, you know, welcome at any time, um, any given moment. So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And you have the likes of Papa Woody behind you, um, who always is pushing his coins and his projects that he's working with, obviously brought you up here on this stage today. So kudos to that. Hey, Papa, did you want uh, to ask any questions or had anything specific for Netcoin? No, I don't have any questions. I just want to throw in there that um, <clears throat> I've talked to the dev personally. I've um, So I'm pretty aware of who he is and what he's got planned here. So it's nice to be early on a nice project and something safe for the community. Awesome. I appreciate it. And just, just quickly, me and Papa were previously a part of uh, another project. Um, <laughs> we did really well on that one. So I've seen Papa pop this off here really well. So um, guys, just watch this space because when Papa's bullish, you know, things go uh, parabolic. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. So for the listeners here in the room today, up in the Jumbotron, I did pin a tweet from the Netcoin 
uh, main Twitter handle right there. So they have uh, the utility announcement, which he kind of covered a little bit of that today, the upcoming AMA, which we're in here today. But most importantly, you can go there. You can find their Telegram channel. You can find the cat, uh, contract address and also their website to kind of do some research on it. And uh, I think I would say, you know, the call to action for NetCoin is to make sure to jump into their Telegram, interact with their community, see how bullish they are there. Uh, very brand new project. So if you can uh, retain the heat, keep pushing the chart. I think that's the most important part right out the gate for um, for our project. So congratulations on the success this far. Thank you very much. And thank you to Coin Merch for obviously having us on the AMA and Papa Woody for bringing us here. Um, the, f- the future is bright with uh, Netcoin, so let's get it, baby, and let's make sure that uh, everybody's uh, part of Ryoshi's first dream and make this the reality for him as well. So let's go. Awesome, awesome. Machinator, thank you very much. Papa Woody, um, awesome, awesome project. Seems like you brought to the table here today. And uh, I just want to give a shout-out. We got uh, Whale Coin Talk down there in the room. Thank you for being here, being present. Caesars Calls put a retweet on us. Absolutely huge exposure there. We got MJ in here, um, you know, Papa Stonks, obviously, some uh, legends. And I'm just scrolling through a couple of the, the, um, uh, the names I know. But we got about 125 people in the space. So I'm going to re-put out a tweet for a call to action. Let's keep it going. Um, let's see. Up in the Jumbotron. Up in the Jumbotron. Give me a moment. I did re-tweet. Re- re- excuse me. Wow. I'm choking on my words over here, man. I did repin. The opportunity to win a custom NFT. So all you have to do is engage with that tweet, retweet it, tag two people, follow our hosts, which are myself, Coin Merge, Papa Woody, and of course our headliner here today, Squid Grow. And you'll have an opportunity to win an NFT if you're in the space after our last AMA. And then we also have JDB who brought a giveaway today. I'm going to pass the mic over to JDB. How are we doing? We are doing amazing. Thanks for having us. Absolutely, absolutely. Super excited about your project, um, uh, Elite Crypto Lounge over there. We got Papa Stonks that is involved with the project, really bringing it to my attention. You guys were super loud on our engagement tweet there. Um, and then I jumped into it, and you guys are packed full of utility that seems to already be in place now. Um, can you talk about the, the vision behind JDB and where it came from? Yes, absolutely. So let me invite you to a journey. Because at the given time, we are four months on the market, which is not a lot of time. But for the start that we had, it is actually a lot of time and for the the journey we made over that duration. So how did the project start out? There was our founder, his name is Wegner, he's located in Switzerland. And he and a few others that are involved into the project they were whales on the project and that project died and they were the ones holding the bag. I guess everybody in here knows that situation. And out of that frustration that they had, they had an amazing idea, at least a pretty funny idea. They started a meme token, which was called Cheat Detector Bot with a telegram utility that would make fun of people that sell in a loss. And it ran pretty well. Like, it ran pretty wild. You had all that meme stuff. You had a very engaging community. It went up to, like, 300,000 in market cap. We had buy competitions. We had all the big names in the space. And when the hype faded, the project found a floor. And a lot of projects then start to die. Like, the community moves on. They they invest out of where. But not so with JDB. For example, during that time, we onboarded one of our developers. The story is a pretty funny one. We did a buying competition and our founder paid out the wrong person. And they later found out. So uh, Cheers, which is our developer, he reached out to Vecna. And since Vecna is a very straightforward guy and a very honest guy, he just paid him out as well. So he paid for the competition twice. But he didn't pay for anything because Cheers is a 15-year experienced full-time developer in Switzerland. And the idea was born to do more with the data that we collected with our Telegram bot and we displayed. So they started to build a dApp and they released a dApp that tracks all the buy and sell transactions that run through PancakeSwap and splits up the data for the user in certain elements, which Coco will touch shortly. But the journey wasn't over. So the project ran from a 30K floor back to a $3.3 million 
uh, market cap all time high. We listed on the major listing sites. We had AMAs with Travel Ad with all the big names in the space. And then the project went back, like I think it was around the time of the FDX thing, to a floor of around 500 to $700,000. That's also where I entered the project. Uh, my role that I fulfill within the project is to help on the marketing side, but also help with these AMAs and represent the project. Um, and we managed in that harsh market conditions and with BNB constantly dropping to have 14 straight green days. Um, we did a lot of releases recently in our D app. Um, our community is very pleased with the development they see on a daily basis. Like everybody that wants to check it out, go into our D, D app. On the first page, you find the change log and you see updates nearly every day. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and the devs already implemented something and we have an AMA a few hours later and I don't even know what they did. But what I do know is that it's very high quality and that they are very capable um, what they do. So I don't want to further annoy you. I will let Coco speak about the functionality of our platform. The only thing that I want to add is um, that we are real persons, like I'm docs in the space, Vecna is docs in the space, and we will also meet up um, to an expo in Switzerland in around 15 days. We will go to there together, um, get into conversation with valuable people in the space, maybe find some new partners there, maybe attract new investors. We will see. I will also take my camera along because with our rebranding from a meme token to a serious tech company that we want to build over the next few years, um, we need stuff like image films, like good pictures of us on public events to thoroughly market us online um, where we are very successful at the given time so with that being said <laughs> thank you very much yeah no phil absolutely and i i hold a similar role for coin merge and i'd have to say there's nothing more exciting from a marketing aspect or someone who's going to go out and speak about the project to wake up to your dev just having a sleepless night grinding in the basement building the project it's like just it oh, reinvigorates you so <laughs> awesome <laughs> And I have to give you credit because honestly, uh, yesterday when you sent me the link to to create Outcoin on your website, it's super clean. It was super easy. Picked up everything. I thought it was really awesome. And your community was super welcoming. welcoming. So I have to give credit for that too. But yeah, this has been an amazing journey. And like he was saying, like sometimes I wake up, you know, I usually do the demos. I'm not I'm not used to doing, we don't do that many Twitter spaces. So I usually share my screen because I figure the best way is to show people. I actually sent you a video if you wanted to share it up in there. It's just a little 30 second ad that I actually created because that's why I try to bring to the table too. I'm actually a video producer in my real life. So I'm trying to create some ads for us, you know, put myself on camera to do some and do some tutorials and teach people what we're doing. But this whole idea at the very beginning, and I would say it even holds to the value now is just to make the safe space, the, the space safer. Because, you know, me and Vecna would diamond hand things to the very end and we just get frustrated that we've getting all these wrong projects. And uh, with the DAP, uh, there's even a free feature on the DAP that we want everyone to be able to use, which is you could scan any token on BSC and we're going to actually be on ETH soon as well. So you could actually scan a token and get the idea of the holders that are in that token. You know, do they sell at a loss? Do they sell quickly within two days? Do they hold? Do they make a 5x profit or more? You know, we t we explain to you all the information. One awesome one awesome upgrade to the DAP is that you could usually uh, check the most profitable wallets with the 100k access. But now, if you scan even a coin like Squidgro, you could see where those you'll see the top the wallets from the top holders of that token and where they're making the most profit elsewhere. So we show you those wallets, and then you could sort out by they make a 50 50 percent of their trades. Are over a 5x and you could see where that, that guy's making trades and following them and that that update was pretty cool because you could actually fine-tune if you like a good good token and a good, good community you think it's good investors you could fine-tune it right to that community and check out those wallets absolutely yeah i did pin a tweet up into the jumbotron um if you sent me i don't know if you sent it to my telegram or whatever i'm I have a hard time navigating from Telegram to Twitter and, and kind of organizing all this stuff. So if you put in a tweet, I'll get it up there. But I did pin one up there. Um, learn more about the JDB DAP uh, with the quick 30-second quick commercial. Oh, you got it. That's perfect. 
Yeah. So that's up there in the Jumbotron. But what I will say to all the listeners in the room, you know, as you go through any of these AMAs, make sure you pull up the websites and really follow along as we talk. Um, you'll get a good idea of what the project is. They also have their DAP right on their website, which you can click into. I love the UI. Um, you know, I, I know some of the, the functions are gated, which is a, a bullish aspect of it because, you know, good technology shouldn't always be free and there should always be some investment opportunities for people who believe in the project, uh, which we'll get into in a little bit. But some of the functionalities that really interested me is like the quality of holders you have, being able to explore deployer wallets, um, pre-sale options, interesting wallets, um, scan the tokens, you know, different databases, notifications, change log. I think all the technology that you guys are really trying to captivate is huge. Can you talk about... Um, I was just thinking I'm like that elite crypto lounge over there with Fandry. You guys must be just absolutely killing it using this app in the space. So props to you guys over there. But uh, let's talk about, you know, kind of walk us through some of the, the back end data that you guys have to do to really make this make this happen, because it, it looks like you guys are st uh, storing or, or um, captivating or capturing 250,000 transactions per day. And right now it's just on one blockchain, correct? Yeah, currently, right now, it's just on BSC, but we're going to be on ETH very here, uh, here soon as well. And uh, that's because of our 15 year software engineer, a uh, software developer, and he brought on uh, his coworker, Kangaroo. So it's Cheers and Kangaroo. They're the two people who are the masterminds behind creating the whole DAP. But yeah, they, they track every single buy and sell. So as long as we have the buy, we've been. We've been tracking, you know, BSC since October. So as long as we have the endpoint, you know, we could compare it with that point. So as long as we have the buy, we could take the sell. And then we have the idea of how much profit you made. And as long as we have the buy input, we have the, the sell output. You know, this has only been going on for as far as tracking the data, I'd say about three months. So, you know, just imagine one to two years from now, the amount of accuracy we could have on this data. And they even did more things, too, because we used to just... Uh, when you're checking the most profitable wallets, which is actually one of our uh, paid features right now, I'll try to break it down because I usually show it, but he even broke it down into like an average X because we used to have most profitable wallets where, you know, say this guy, we, we think on average, you know, he makes a 75 X on his investment, but that could be inaccurate because a guy could have, you know, a hundred X on one coin and then do absolute terrible trades on like 10, 15 other coins. Yet he's the most profitable wallet. So what we did now is that we gave you a range. So you could see that 5% of the guy's trades are below like a 1x or 50% of his trades are below a 5x. And then 95% of his trades are over 150x, which means he made he got one lucky investment that he made 150x. And yet he's not a most profitable wallet. So we did that. And we also allowed people to sort by market cap range, too. So that because it doesn't matter if somebody's making, you know, 100x on a project, if they're doing it on a coin that's at a 2k market cap. So you could sort that out as well. And then you could follow these wallets and get notified if you find a good wallet you like and then you get notified if they aped in a coin or if they sold a token and you could immediately copy trade it. That's absolutely huge. So you're able to pin down some of the most successful investors in DeFi. You know, eventually you'll expand across other chains um, and copy trade. Uh, which is huge, you know, so you, their proven success, obviously may not be your proven success, not financial advice, but they seem that you'll have a better advantage if, you know, there's a successful trader out there, or they may be bringing some alpha to early, early entries on some coins that are about to blow up. A hundred percent. And we're always constantly building. I would say, honestly, our best asset is our community because we have, we get so many ideas and the best ideas are from the users. So even right in the app on the bottom, there's a thing called the Trello board and you could go in and give us your ideas. You know, what would you like to see? What would you like to see added or implemented? Because we're constantly fine tuning this. And uh, I, I think it's honestly going to be never ending. We're just going to continue doing this over time. And I honestly feel so grateful that we do have the software developers that we have, because I, I don't think this would be possible without them. And I think it's amazing that, you know, Cheers was an investor first before he even got in this. And it, it was just awesome. That was a huge part of the journey because what were the odds that he was an investor and then he lived three hours away from Vecna and both of them. So they just went and hang out and had beers. And yeah, it's all, I think it's amazing that just everything seemed to fall. I know for a project too, like it does have to do with having a, a good utility, a good community and everything. 
But, you know, some things just, sometimes things just fall into place. And it feels like all the right pieces of the puzzle fell into place at the right time. We try not to force anything, you know, regardless of what happens to the chart. You know, we're at 2.3 million market cap right now. But regardless of what happens to the chart or anything, we're continuing to build. And that's always going to be our approach. We're always going to continue to build. We're always going to be smart with our marketing money. And, you know, do whatever we think we need to make a better product. And the right things will come. Yeah, 100%. And the quality of there's there's some really good devs in the space but it's extremely difficult to find quality devs so the fact that your devs have a relationship internally um makes the bond a little bit tighter and retention of of the dev and, and their professionality and their experience that much greater so that's huge kudos to you guys for that um i did want okay what, where am i at i mean you guys i just love the app you got a change log you can scan tokens we talked about product profitable wallets, the database, the, the notifications, the follow wallets, deployer wallets, pre-sale options. I think we kind of broke down all that. One one key element that we didn't talk about is the, the data that you guys are collecting. You're filtering out scam tokens and stable coins. Is that live now? And how does that, how do you do that? Yeah, this is absolutely live right now. And in the future, we we just released a new development roadmap, so everybody that wants to check it out, feel free to join our Telegram channel. Uh, guys are amazingly helpful in there. Um, so, uh, um, yes, because of this, I'm, I'm sorry, because of the stable coins and the scam transactions, in the future, the users will also have the possibility to s display these and follow also, for example, malicious devs wallets. So they will get displayed this data um, as scam, get flagged as scam, but they can still keep themselves safe and they get notified when a, when a dev starts a new scam project with the same deployer wallet. They have also functions within the DApp to follow, for example, the marketing wallet or the development wallet, and they get notified later on as soon as money moves out there. So you just have a better overview of the projects that you're invested in within a very, very short amount of time. And on the other hand, um, I don't know how your experience was when you navigated yourself the first time at like BSC scan or ether scan. For me, it was pretty tough to find myself the, all the information that I needed. And our founder is pretty experienced, like he is not a new guy in the space. And he tried to calculate certain wallets and find profitable wallets and do the maths himself. And it took him like ages to do it. And with our tool, you can set your filters. You find the category of traders you like. You just click one button and within a second, it's there. And we save you a lot of time. And we all know that time is one of the most valuable goods in the space. Nobody of us has too much time. So if you save on time, you have more time making money. And that's what the project is about. Yeah, I can't believe, you know, for a new investor now, myself personally, it was a nightmare trying to navigate. I think we talked about this on our last space as well. Navigate EtherScan and BSC scan and then truly understand it. It took me months to finally get somebody to, you know, point out little details. And uh, I had to learn through some of my failures as well. So uh, to be able to, one, save time and be able to, you know, just click a button and navigate EtherScan or BSC scan is is huge. A hundred percent. I wanted to mention too is that we're actually partnered with uh, the way we filled out the tokens. Uh, Cheers made us uh, made a, a second filter, but we also have uh, Go Plus Security Labs. So that's how we scan the contract security. So we're partnered with them. So we scan the contract security, and then uh, Cheers set up another filter that so filled out more scam contracts, just potentially. But in the future, you know, we're gonna label some of these contracts that you'll still be able to see them and see profits from. But maybe we'll label them as like yellow, you know, or red or so that you can actually still see them and, you know, make your own assessment. So if we can maybe give a short um, view in the future as well, we just released our NFTs, our entry pass NFTs, so the user can get one day access, um, three day access, seven day access, and now even a month of access with just an entry pass NFT 60% of that revenue go back into the chart. We don't burn these tokens. We lock them away and we will use them later on for um, further uh, utilities to the token, for example, staking, or we'll use them for uh, centralized exchange pools. 
And um, this is also something very special about the project. I would say like everybody involved um, bought their tokens themselves, no airdrops, no pre-sale, no anything. Um, everybody accumulated their tokens themselves. And this is a nice way for us to give back to the community in form of buybacks and still have tokens to work with later on. And with these NFTs, with each chain that we implement into the system, and we plan to implement a lot of chains down the road, we will release NFTs on each chain. So people can just buy the NFTs in their native currency. And we also have the infrastructure in place that you can already. We partnered up with FIPSwap to list it on us on there. So we are on a multi-chain swap and you can buy our token with Ethereum, with uh, Matic, with Phantom, with AVAX. Um, so we have the infrastructure in place to also onboard these people in our token and therefore in our community. Absolutely. I do like the NFT aspect, sort of an entry pass, if you will, or a guest pass, if you will, to try out the app or some of the ungated or some of the gated or features of the application um, instead of completely investing and, and not maybe not liking it. But so that being said, let's talk about the tokenomics because there is a lot of utility we just unpacked, but there is a token behind JDB. Can you dive into the tokenomics of JDB and some of the investors interest of how, you know, the, the token and the DAP interact? Yes, absolutely. So at the given time, we have a token with 10% in and out tax. Our token is definitely not there for trading. Um, it's more of like an, an investment. Long term, you accumulate your lifetime access with your tokens. So everybody that holds 100,000 tokens has a lifetime access to our DApp. They get all the updates for free. There is no further costs for you. You're one of the chosen ones that got in early and have one of the greatest research tools on the market for your lifetime. Um, the taxes get divided in liquidity, development, and marketing. Um, so we just sustain the project. We all know the project has costs. Um, a lot of guys on the team, they are doing it, um, they are doing it part-time. And it's just yeah, reasonable to have taxes in place for the tokens that people should hold. Also, with the mechanism that we have later on, or that we have in, implemented just recently with the NFTs and the buybacks coming back into the token. Oh, and also with the NFTs, I would like to mention that when you actually buy an NFT, uh, he did just, Phil just did kind of mention it, but all of the NFT sales, 60% of the sales from that will be going into buybacks for the project. And that will either be in the future for staking pools or CAX exchanges. And then with actually every NFT you meant, uh, you could roll dice. And if you put, and if you have our logo three times with the dice, you automatically get lifetime access uh, to the dApp. And actually during this AMA, uh, our amazing dev cheers messaged me and he let me know that I can mention that uh, copy trading is going to be available very soon. Let's go. Dropping <laughs> Alpha in the AMA. That's what I love to hear. I love to hear it. Awesome, man. Um, so it sounds like, for lifetime access, 100,000 tokens for the DAP is roughly, I think you guys are at two, cent, two cents a token right now, correct? Yeah, it's roughly, I believe, around 2,600 uh, for lifetime access. But the NFTs are the more affordable option, uh, which it's 0 0.05, 0 0.1, and 0 0.16 for one, three day, and seven day NFTs. And actually, I believe we just released 30 day NFTs too. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. So you can guys kind of get like a monthly membership and or just lifetime access and just pay the one time fee and utilize this forever. And as it fuels the chart or fuels the coin, um, you know, eventually, as long as you guys keep building, which I, I feel like it's it's there and this is a bullish utility in the market, definitely needed, highly valuable to a trader. Um, you know, that that will just be a discount later on. So awesome. <clears throat> well, I want to I, I guess. Let's, let's uh, talk about the community. Where can an investor here today go and find your community and interact with the team, maybe ask questions and follow along with JDB? So we are basically everywhere. We are on Telegram. We have amazing communities there, even local communities. Like I mentioned, the team is from the German region, from the Dach community, Austria, Germany, Switzerland. We have a very solid following there. These guys really push us. They help us in every kind of aspect. Shout out to them as well. But our international community is even 
yeah, it's great. Like I was so welcomed in this project. It was amazing when I entered. I felt home immediately, and that's also the feedback that we get from the people. We have a ne very knowledgeable community on there. A community that still has their meme roots, like we love to raid on Twitter, we like to engage with it, uh, with each other. Um, but yeah, like mentioned, we also have a Twitter, we have a Discord, we build a YouTube channel currently where we release all the updates on the D app, and we'll put out educational content for people on how to use it and how to successfully trade with it. Um, we have a TikTok account, so basically JDB is all, all over the place. Choose your favorite social and get into interactions with us. Our founder, although he's a busy person, he's one of the most active guys in the Telegram. You can always get in direct conversation with him and he's happy to answer every question, same as the rest of the team. So just pick your choice and be one of us. Yeah, Vecna is actually a, a dentist in his real life and has, a, has his own practice. So that's what Vecna does on the side. But he's a badass when he's not, I feel like in between patients, he's always on the Telegram. And then, like, I'll try to call and he'll be like, I'm still at work. And then I'm like, okay. <laughs> He's just in between <laughs> patients, trading crypto. I love it. I love it. Um, awesome. So we unpacked a lot. Is there anything that we missed that you feel is crucial for our listeners here today um, to understand about JDB? Well, I feel like the main thing I want people to understand is that you're never late in a project like this. The only time you actually realize you're late is, you know, when it's at 500 million, you know, a billion and... We're going to be here for years to come. You know, we're not going to stop. We see this long term. You know, me and Beckman always talk about how we're going to he's going to come out to Costa Rica, hang out with me. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to be here long term and we're always humble. Like that's our roots. You know, we were we were good. At, we were investors that diamond handed till the end on other projects. And that's how me and Beckna met because we were whales in another project and held to the end. So we feel the way everyone else has felt when they're in those situations. And our overall goal is making the safe space, uh, the space safer. And we're going to continue doing that and continue building and growing. And I, I'm so grateful for my team and community, honestly. I can just add to that, um, that you have a very based team. You have a working product in the space. You have a caring community and a supportive community. We even have an own room where you can discuss fines on the D app, other projects, Whatever you want to discuss, you can go there um, and socialize in there. And like Koku said, we're here to build. Um, we are not the people that care the most about the chart. We love our chart because it shows our story that we have as a project. It even has the old name. We're still Cheat Detector Bot on the chart, but we are JDB in the heart now. And we tend to say, just data from blockchain for your success. And this is also what we want to want to bring to the space. We want to make people successful, use a great product, and succeed together as a community. This is what made us strong initially when all these DeFi things started. And this is still what it takes to make it to the top. And that's where we see JDB. And I just want to say thank you to all the listeners in here. It was a great show. Also, a shout out to the other projects. You are true performers. And to our headliner, Squid Grow, amazing project. Check them out. And that's it from my side. Thank you very much. Awesome, Phil, JDB, Coco. I appreciate you guys being here. Super bullish utility, super bullish project. Well-spoken, uh, great presentation. You guys have some NFTs you want to give away. How do you want to do that today? Uh, we can randomly pick it, but uh, I, I guess maybe maybe make it fun having the comments here of our types of uh, Pound NFT, pound JDB NFT. The first 10, we'll give it to those people. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, the comments on the space. So if, I'm going to pin this up in the Jumbotron. And we have some closing remarks, so you're going to have some time to do this, okay? So I'm pinning this up into the Jumbotron. It's the, the space link here. Uh, you'll notice it up there. So uh, go up to the Jumbotron, click on that tweet. It's the space link. Uh, do What would you say? Pound JDB? Yeah, we could do pound JDB or pound NFT. Pound NFT. Let's JDB. do. Yeah, let's do. Uh, <laughs> let's do pound NFT. Pound NFT. Do a hashtag NFT up on the space link, up in the jumbotron. Make sure you put it in the comments. Uh, we're gonna go through some closing remarks. You'll have your opportunity to win um, a JDB NFT or a guest pass to utilize their DAP <clears throat> and gain some advantage on the market. Awesome. I appreciate that. So again, up in appreciate the jumbotron. You. Thank you. 
hashtag NFT in the comments. And while we do that, I'm going to announce some winners. Uh, I went through, I did comment on the, the tweets we had sent out for the engagement. Just want to announce them in here live. We got Kyle Forgasson. Congratulations. You won the custom NFT. Um, I did comment, but make sure you DM the coin merge main handle. We'll get the information we need in order to create this for you. And then where's the other winner? I did see them in here before. Um, did see them in here before. I don't think they dropped out. There's still about 100 people, 100 listeners. I did take a photo. Give me one second. I go to that. <clears throat> Custom NFT winner number two was Space Cat um, at Space Cat. Uh, make sure you DM the Coin Merge main handle. We'll get you the information, or we'll get the information we need to put that custom NFT for you together. So congratulations again. Listen, I think this was an awesome AMA, Papa Woody. What do you think? Very bullish. Very bullish. Yeah, I love the format. I love the format. Debuted a, a headliner, absolute banger over there with uh, Shiptoshi. So and Squid Girl and the team. I appreciate you guys very much for coming to this stage today. You guys bring a tremendous amount of engagement, huge audience, and give opportunities for two other great projects to get some light as well, and also yourselves. So we're gonna go through some cl closing remarks. Um, JDB, is there anything you want to leave this room with today, as far as maybe some positivity in the DeFi world? Oh, I don't. I was gonna let Phil take. I don't think Phil's there. But yeah, I guess. I guess the main thing, at least for the DeFi world, is that I still, you know, uh, especially in this space, I feel like a lot of us get scarred and discouraged sometimes because obviously it is a lot of, like Shiptoshi, like Shiptoshi said, you know, the reason he started his project is because he was sick of all of his friends getting rug pulled and screwed. But you know, with all that, I feel like there's a new wave of people in DeFi coming who want to make the safe space or, and, you know, create utilities to help people in this space. And, you know, I feel like there are still good people and good projects out there. So keep that in mind. I think, you know, 2023, we'll see some better people, better projects. And I think we might even have some right here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Um, Machinator, any uh, closing remarks for the room? Yeah. I just want to say, um, it's been a pleasure listening to the other two projects as well. Um, hopefully we can lock up something with them. Um, and also a big shout out to everybody that's been supporting the project and the community uh, from Queens Calls to Future Lounge, Omar, um, Papa Woody, Eric. Um, the list goes on. You can't thank everybody enough. But we actually do want to say a genuine thank you to everybody, um, especially Coin Merge as well, for having us here today. Um, we are very excited. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing what the next uh, 12 months brings us. Hopefully, it's going to be a prosperous one for everybody. Absolutely. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. I uh, appreciate you guys coming here today. I'm uh, going to pass the mic over to our man, Ship Toshi. Any closing remarks for the room? I just wanted to give, you know, everybody a shout out for uh, joining this uh, this space we had today and, and taking times out of your day to, to listen to us and, and the two other projects. You know, it's a, as always, it's a pleasure talking to the community and anybody interested in the project and just networking in general. So just thank you for everybody, you know, that took time out of their days. I appreciate it. Yeah, 100%. I have to give the, the most kudos to our listeners here today um, and the investors in all of these projects. You guys and girls are the ones that really help push DeFi forward, believing in the visions that uh, some of these leads are really bringing to the table. So huge kudos to everyone that showed up today. I think we, we peaked over like 200, maybe 225 live. Um, so I'm excited to see what the results are. I hope all the projects felt the, the engagement and the exposure that came along with this AMA. Um, you know, certainly excited to work with Papa Woody. Papa Woody, any closing remarks? You know, I just want to say that I love working with classy people and classy projects. Uh, always a pleasure to see Sheep Toshi and very classy guy does everything for his project. JDB sounds very bullish. Uh, I'll definitely be diving into that. And um, guys, put some eyes on Netcoin. It's a few days old. Got a lot going on there. And um, I think it's got a bright future. So having said all that, uh, appreciate you too, A1. Absolutely. Much love, Papa Woody. Everyone in the room, make sure you click on Papa Woody's profile. Put a follow on him. Uh, really builds a lot of hype and engagement inside of DeFi. Always active, always in these spaces, always working the market. And at the end of the day, if you have a guy like him um, 
DeFi is only going to grow faster. So make sure you put a follow on Papa Woody. Uh, I'm uh, A1 Coin Merge up in the Jumbotron. If you stuck around, uh, congratulations. We have a sweepstakes going on on our platform. We're giving away $10,000 to one individual user who signs up on our platform. All you need to do is uh, go to coinmerge.io. Um, enter, your, uh, you know, verify yourself with an email. Uh, we're available on iOS or Google Play. The email can be a burner. We're just trying to avoid bots. We value true engagement on our platform, um, and you can utilize some of our utility. You can chart, chat, trade, interact. Really, just a social media platform. And a lot of the projects, JDB. I know you're here on the platform now. Uh, Shitoshi, Squid Grow, their projects on the platform as well. And uh, we'll connect with Netcoin and get you guys on there as well, and and just really get some extra exposure. But again, ten ten thousand dollar giveaway. Um, it's free to sign up. Make sure you interact with that post up there. And then I'm just going to leave you guys with this. I'm a one. I'm the CMO of Coin Merge, but I do have my own personality. So put a follow on me up in the Jumbotron. You'll see a, a tweet from me. Uh, if you follow my handle, you're going to get a mixture of uh, Coin Merge spam, maybe these uh, NFT giveaways. But I also try to bring a lot of positivity to the the world, not just DeFi. Um, so you'll you'll get some of my my motivation that I reinsure myself with in the morning. Sometimes when I'm on dry to work. But one thing is certain: no one can stop your effort keep grinding this was a coin merge.io headliner ama featuring squid grow thank you very much